Hi guys, so this is just a short video showing you how to open an attachment on Google Classroom. So first you're gonna tap on the Classwork tab at the bottom of your screen. You will find a list of all of your class folders and assignments. And what you wanna do is you wanna find whatever assignment it is that you have to work on today. Then you're gonna tap on the assignment. Remember, smart kids read directions. I have so many kids always asking things that were already written in the direction. So make sure you read the directions first. It will save you a lot of time and questions later. Once you've read the directions, tap on the attachment. If you cannot see an attachment, don't panic. If you really couldn't see the attachment, what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave Google Classroom and you're gonna head to your Google Drive. Remember the icon for Google Drive looks like this. If you don't see it on your iPad, pull down from the top of your screen and search for Google Drive. Um, if you've read the directions, you will know the name of your assignment. So once you get into your Google Drive, you may see your assignment right there at the very top beginning. So this is an assignment we're gonna be working on soon. So as soon as you get in, if you've got it on like a picture grid, you might see your assignment sitting right there. If you don't see your assignment, still don't panic. There's another way you can find it. Okay, so if you couldn't find it right off the bat when you got into your Google Drive, up in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to see something that says search in Drive, and you're gonna tap on that. You have two options here. You will be brought to a screen that looks like this, and what you can do is either where it says search in Drive, you can actually tap in there like we said, and type in the name of the assignment. If you read the directions, you should know the name of the assignment, and so this would be a quick and easy way to find the assignment. If for some reason, maybe the name of the assignment isn't um, the name that it is in Google Drive, um, you have another option. So if you know what your teacher was sending you, so maybe you know they were gonna send you a document or they were gonna send you a slides presentation. Instead of typing something in where it says search and drive, what you'll do is you'll tap on whatever type of project it was. So if they sent you, let's say a slides presentation, you're gonna click here where it says presentation, tap on that. And what that will do is it'll narrow down your search. Now it'll show you just things that have been sent to you that are presentations. And so you can choose from there. You will find a copy of your assignment. Um, so whichever way you had to go, you're gonna end up finding a copy of your assignment. The way that you know that it's your copy and that no one else is gonna be able to write on it, because we've all had that experience where we go in to work on something our teacher sent us, but there seems to be answers on it or someone else's work. So the way that you know that it's your copy and that no one else is gonna work on it, your name is going to come first and then the name of the assignment. So you can see here, um, I have one that, an example one I did on my son's iPad, it says Christian Hernandez, and then it has the name of the assignment. If it doesn't say your name first and it just has the name of the assignment, that means anyone could type on it. You might see someone else's answers um, and you won't be able to turn in your own copy. Whoever's the last person to type on it, that's the only copy your teacher will see. So if you wanna get credit for your work and you don't find an assignment with your name first, make sure you contact your teacher and let them know that there isn't a copy for you so that they can fix that. I hope this helps you um, better able, be better able to open up an attachment and do um, an attached assignment.